If you own an e-commerce shop, you want to set up a funnel exploration report in GA4. This report will visualize trends over time. It will tell you how long users are taking between each step, when they're dropping out, and what they're doing instead so that your remarketing efforts will be successful. Here's how to set that up. The first thing you will do is sign into your Google Analytics Explorer account. In the far left-hand column, select Explore. It will look like a circle with an arrow pointing up. This will lead you to the template gallery for exploration in GA4. Select Funnel Exploration. This will first display a sample report. Go ahead and remove the steps that they have here. And we're going to enter our e-commerce steps by clicking the pencil icon. Step one will be um, view the product or product view. We're going to add a new condition, an event or view item. Our second step in our e-commerce funnel will be add to cart, and the condition events, add to cart. And our third and final step will be those who made a purchase. There we are. Go ahead and click apply. And I'm going to remove the breakdown as well. And there you are. That's it. So I highly encourage you to play around with a wide range of advanced features within your funnel exploration report. Let me explain to you what this graph is, is telling us, what information we can get from it. Uh, basically, you're seeing all viewers who looked at a product in your shop and the percent of those that went on to the next step of adding it to their cart and the percent of those that did not go on to the next step and abandoned um, that product view. So we can see these steps going down like this. Let me bring my tab settings back up. Now I can break down this chart to see additional information by device or first user medium. So let's say specific traffic. And I just want to know how organic traffic is doing. I can right click on organic and click include only these users. Great. So now I'm seeing only organic users as they navigate from viewing a product, adding it to their cart and making a purchase. Let's see that we see a large drop off between product view and add to cart or add to cart and purchase. And we want to know what are those users doing instead? So back to my settings, I'm going to find event name under dimensions, variables, dimensions, event name, and drag this over to next action in my tab settings. So now when I come up to my column, I can see the top five next actions that users took that did not continue on to adding it to their cart. Some other funnel exploration tips. You can right click the add to cart column or really any of these columns if you want to segment to that user, um, just as we did with a segmenting to organic. So let's say add to cart users who didn't make a purchase. I could create a segment for these users and I can build an audience. Another tip within the GA4 funnel is going to be changing your visualization Right now we have um, our column set for our date range under variables. We can open this up quarter to date and change our visualization from a standard funnel to a trended funnel. Now we get a line chart to see how these metrics change over time. One last thing is showing the elapsed time. If you slide that toggle in our first column here, We'll see how much time it took the users to get from one step to the next. 